Hey, hi, fellow vMix users. Dan Thompson here, and I wanted to talk a little bit about how we're using Google Sheets to manage vMix for our Sunday services at the Unitarian Universalist Church in Manchester, Connecticut. There's a bunch of reasons we're using Google Sheets. First of all, everybody on the Sunday Services Committee has access to them and can edit them. We update them directly from vMix, so they're always in sync with vMix. And we print them out for the person running vMix on Sunday, so they just have a checklist to go through. And of course, Google Sheets have powerful data validations and formulas that make all of this easy and repeatable from week to week. Let's take a look at a typical sheet. Column B, that's the vMix input number. Whoever is running vMix on a Sunday morning is primarily looking at that column, moving whatever was in the preview to the current view before moving this numbered shot into preview. It really simplifies their job. They just click fade, and then they pull the next shot into preview. Column D is the name of the vMix input, also called the short name. And you can see that that comes from a drop-down list. Whatever you pick there in that drop-down list will automatically update the input number in column B, so they're always in sync. The drop-down lists in column D are Google Sheet data validations, and they get populated from the next tab. The other columns on the spreadsheet are there just for being helpful notes and for guidance, like which hymns are being sung, who's speaking, and anything else. The reference list for column D is on the next tab over, and it gets populated directly from vMix. So if things move around in vMix or new inputs are added, this list gets repopulated, and that means that the values in column B and column D are automatically updated and always in sync with what's in vMix. So now if we take a look at row two, that's our number two PTZ camera, and it's on the piano. It's on input number 40, and we're going to move it to input number 34. So this is important because anytime you renumber things, you need to update that spreadsheet. And we're going to do that automatically here. You can see it's still on number 40. But we're going to run this little utility that grabs everything in vMix and updates the reference numbers. And they go to NA, and then they get updated with the correct numbers. And that's kind of the magic of our little utility program. So that's kind of all I wanted to show you today. I'm Dan Thompson. If you want to learn more, just reach out.